have already downloaded the um, the zip files the first thing we're going to do is a linear gradient so if you have illustrator open just double click here it should open up okay and this is what you should see linear gradient okay bless you okay so you should have linear gradient and if it's on the upper left you can take the, the this tool here it's called the hand tool so click on it and then you can move it over or you can just go ahead and click on well I didn't see I didn't see any uh, scroll bar there oh there it is right there so there's a little if you notice down below you got a little scroll bar there so you can move that area but the hand tool is a little bit better all right good okay so miss kimberly you're good okay she won't mustard mail but she'll catch up okay all right let's click on this structure let's first of all let's click on the black cursor right here this is the black cursor and then what i'd like you to do is go ahead and click on this object below and let's go ahead and do command plus command plus and then you can zoom in a little bit on this, okay? If you notice what I'm doing here, okay, zoom in. This is all I really need, but I might zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's good enough right there. All right. So I got this little thing, okay? And, but of course, uh, when you zoom in, you got to make sure we're doing gradients. And if you remember in Photoshop, we did a lot of gradient stuff. And so let's, if you don't have gradient, uh, please go to Window and go down to gradient. Gradient should be right there, okay? So go to window, everything is in alphabetical order, so G for gradient. Okay, there you have it. And here we are. So you got a nice solid part of this graphic here. It's pure gray, okay? And it, you know, again, it doesn't really make for realism. And so we want to kind of give it a little bit more life. Um, again, I'm, I'm trying the best I can to be that graphics person. I should turn into one, but anyways, it is what it is. I am where I'm at. So if you click on the gradient tool, first and foremost, you can go ahead and click on the very first one. The first one is called linear gradient, radial, and then freeform. This one is for the linear gradient. So click, there we have it. Now, if you notice, it should already be there, okay? Now, if you notice what happened also, that there's different uh, little, there's a little feature here, the, gra the gradient slider, if you will. You can actually move the left circle. Okay, now be careful, though, because once you move it, you'll notice that um, other, this is the third, now becomes a third circle. And if you don't want the, the first circle, you can go ahead and click and go down. See? See, now here, notice how it gets wider and wider. Same thing with the opposite direction. You can go ahead and add, add it to have more black. Okay, whichever, depending on where the, uh, you know, I guess an eclipse or the, the, we can't really see the moon that much, but if you ever watch the earth, where it turns and on its axis and which part, um, how the earth's shadows work and all that, you'll see that, that's why sundials are pretty popular. Um, but anyway, so if you notice this, uh, it kind of adds more black or less black. Also, this here, this little diamond here, you'll notice that it kind of adds also a little, little it kind of like, you know, nudges it a little bit more. So it can be more specific. It kind of mm -hmm. moves the middle part, the gradient part. Right here is where the transform, it, the color transforms from black to white or white to black. Say you want to add another color. So if I click here, I got a new circle and I got another diamond. So if I double click here, I can choose a new color. Let's say green. Maybe red or purple. Looks nice, doesn't it? <coughs> so go ahead and play around with it. Okay. But here's another cool thing. Right up here is the angle. So now I can like move the cursor over here and use the mouse track to kind of like go down and notice how it turns the gradient. 
Okay, it turns it. And then I can adjust to the white area even more. And the one thing I can do is watch this. When I click on the freeform gradient, it changes color quickly. But then if you go back to the linear gradient, okay, it goes back to the colors that we set. But notice what appears. So here I can actually angle it more. I can play with the, the circles that are provided to me. I can bring this out more, I think. No, I can't. And if it does, and if it goes awry, you can always, uh, you know, Command Z and do it again. So I can bring these things outside. There we have it. Alrighty. Okay. Now um, I need you to go ahead and go up to Window and Swatch. Okay, swatch, window and swatch. There it is right there. So window and swatch. So you should see the swatch thing. Why do we need to worry about this? Because we have another one of these little entities on the other side. So if I was to click on the hand tool, notice this one has to be color too. Well, it would be really insignificant if I because you know the lighting structure doesn't light up one part of the same object excuse me All right, so we got uh, so we get, so what we're going to do now is with swatches, okay, and and this is highlighted. Make sure it's highlighted, okay. And what you're going to do now is in swatches there is a plus sign right here. It's a new swatch. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this, okay, and it'll say new gradient swatch, and you can name it to whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it white to purple. Okay, right there. Press OK. And there it is, right there. Okay? Little icon, there it is, right there. So now, if I go to the other thingy, I can go ahead and click on the black cursor, highlight it, and just click on the swatch. Boom, done. That's it. Everybody do that? If there's any questions, let me know right now. Okay, so this is what you should have. <clears throat> of course I can. The swatch part? Yeah. Okay, so I was asked to redo the swatch part, and I'd be happy to do so. So if you've already figured out the gradient attributes for the left side, if you already figured that out, and you want to carry the same information to the other. So I'm going to click on the black cursor, and I'm going to select this whole thing here. Okay, whole thing is selected, and then uh, I use my swatch 
um, my swatch window and we got to make sure that the plus sign here is available, it's lit up. So it says new swatch. So go ahead and click on that and give it a name. Okay, click on that and give it a name. And then once you've given a name, press OK. And you should see a small icon right here. Okay, small icon right here. Everybody good? Wendy and Kimberly, you good? No? Okay. Got to make sure you're good. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the other side. Uh, with the black cursor, click here. And then you're going to press on that same swatch, and there you have it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay, what I'd like you to do is let's go ahead and zoom out if you have to zoom out. Okay, and do a screenshot of what you have here. Screenshot, Command Shift 4, and open up uh, the uh, Google Classroom, Google Slides, and put it right here. Okay, make sure it all fits. And you're going to place it right here. Okay, just like so. Okay, so it's now 10.04, I'll give you till 10.06. Then open up the radial one. Open up the radial one, which is right here. All right, now with the circular one, it's the same thing. Click on the black cursor and click on the one here in the, in the right part, this little circular object. And let's go back to the gradient, this time um, gradient tool. And this time, let's go ahead and click on the middle one, the circular. So if you click here, you can, at, you can now change the color by clicking on this uh, circle here. So double click, maybe start off with a blue. Ooh, blue looks cool. All right, and then of course, if you want to upgrade, now once again, you can click on the free form and then go back to, and notice you got this scenario here. So you can go ahead and uh, again, you can control the circle, you can twist it, okay? Okay, you can go here or you can go here, whatever the case may be, and bring this out a little bit more. Whatever works for you, you can also kind of like, you see what I'm doing here? I can make it uh, somewhere where the source of light is, and this would be a blue light, and I don't ever see us using a blue light, well, whatever the case may be. So you want to do that, bless you. And on the other side, uh, again, you don't have to create a swatch. In fact, what I'd like you to do is come up with a different color, okay? So the same thing, okay, click on the radio, okay, uh, radio gradient. And instead, maybe you want to come up with a purple, okay? Or maybe you want to come up with a red. Red looks kind of freaky and cool. And then once again, you can click on the uh, freeform, go back to the uh, linear, and this little tool appears. So you can see right here, really good stuff. I have to say I'm really enjoying, uh, and uh, I'm not an expert in Illustrator. I, I, this is really one of the longer times I've used this, but I'm actually really liking this. And I'll it all to you, new stuff, so. <clears throat> and just so you, um, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but um, we are going to have, uh, okay, come back soon, please. 
Okay. All right. So if you're good with this, it's really not much to say or do. Uh, I do want to point out one thing is that with the, uh, let's do this again. You can also click here. You notice that there's a plus sign there. You can also click here and add another circle and then double click on the circle and add something like maybe a yellow there. Okay. And you'll notice that even uh, a nicer, like better effective, um, see that? So you got a nice little glow, like looking like a little bit of a sun uh, with a halo around. So if you want to do that before you kind of turn this in, if you're okay with what you've got, go ahead and do a screenshot of this. Command Shift 4, highlight here, and then go into, um, put this in the radial part. Okay, uh, let's give you another minute to go ahead and finish that up. And then we are going to do the free form. Yeah, free form AI. And I look forward to the day when uh, this school decides to start teaching AI. Will that ever happen? Well, it has to happen. Um, I've used AI Infotech used AI to create websites. Okay, we've used uh, ChatGPT. Um, next year, graphics class, will learn how to use AI to generate images. And no, I am not threatened by that at all. I think it's a good thing. Okay, so we'll figure it out. We'll figure it all out. Okay, we'll give you another 30 seconds to open everything up. Recording. All right, so now what we're going to do is, again, if you have uh, a green, so one thing you need to look for, okay, if, first of all, it should be under points or lines. Okay, let's go to lines, okay. Actually, you know what, let's go to points, sorry. And you'll notice these little points here. See that? You see one here. And then you see one down here, and then you see one here. So you don't have to have all four points, as I'll show you. You can also add a point. Notice how it says plus, but let's go and work with what we have here. So you notice how inside the point, you got a color there. That's the same color as the outside here. Same thing with this guy right here. This area is gray, the inside is gray. But let's go and click at the point, and let's give it a new color. Let's go light blue, there it is. All right, and now here's a cool part. You can actually move this so it goes over there, see that? And you can actually expand it a little bit, you see that? It's pretty cool how they do that. Down below is a white and then we can change this to yellow. There we go, mellow yellow, there we go, okay. And hopefully that's a little bit too crazy. And let's say, for instance, I want to add something here in the middle. Okay. And I just click and a new thing comes up. So I'm going to double click here, give it purple, kind of a crazy purple there. And uh, again, if I wanted to kind of like move it around a little bit. So you kind of could come up with the uh, Aurora Borealis kind of a deal, which is, you know, beautiful kind of a thing right here all right so if you can figure that out that's cool um, you can also lower the opacity once you click on um, 
So if you click on a on a uh, anchor point here, you can actually go here and lower the opacity, and you can see what's behind there. Although it doesn't look nearly as nice. So I'm going to go back to the opacity at 100 and give it the niceness back. Okay. That's all I wanted to discuss. So go ahead and screenshot this, okay, and put it in there. So, screenshot. Man, we are going, we are coming into May and Wednesday. Okay, and the stroke radian, let's open that up, please. We'll try it anyways. So you notice right here uh, in the stroke gradient, you've got this little electric current here, which is pretty cool. But if you go to the gradient tool, and once again, if you click on like, um, let's see, click here, and then I think if you go to uh, characteristics, hold on, properties, and right here you have so I'm sorry let me just figure this out properties click on stroke and then on the swatches you click on one of these guys you'll notice that it'll change color okay so the, the stroke changes colors okay so you have to come up with a swatch first but let's go ahead and do this um, just just for just for the heck of it so you gotta click so make sure you highlight this highlight this little um, current Click on the stroke, okay, and then click on, uh, you know, when you click on the stroke and color it, click on one of the gradients ones, okay, and uh, let's see if I can, you can click on gradient options down here. And of course, you can come up with different colors. Um, eh, let's leave it alone. <laughs> All right, so let's do this, okay? Let's come up with a current on the top part. So click on the pen tool. This is going to take a little careful, and then create a new layer. So go to layer, and then up here, you'll see this, and then new layer, okay? So once again, click on the upper right. Okay, it'll ask for a new layer, so you can just name it to whatever you want and make sure that it is pretty empty or a white background. Okay. Then what you're going to do is click on the pen tool and then go up and then curve, up, curve, okay, sorry, up, curve, up, curve, up. And you'll notice that for me it carried. So once I get to this part right here, I go up and go straight to the black cursor and let it go. Okay. Once I get to the part, I go up straight to the black cursor and then it'll stop right there. You notice how um, it comes up because otherwise it's going to try to connect the first and last one. Okay. Anybody need my help? Go right up. Okay. Just click on the black, go right to the black cursor and click. Okay. Go right to the black cursor and kick. click. If you have this scenario here, then you're going to click on the stroke. Uh, I'm sorry, click on properties and then stroke and come up with some colors. There it is. That's pretty cool right there. Okay, once you're done, uh, once you're done, go ahead and screenshot, paste it, turn it in. We're done. Anybody need my help?
Okay, so screenshot, put it in the Google Classroom and turn it in and you are done. Good job, everybody.